I'm alone. Like, I don't have any kids in the house. Like, not even, they're not even at grannies and pop grandpas down the lane. The kids aren't even within 80 miles of here. Did you escape? Now what are you gonna do? You wanted to play with the toys, didn't you? Now you don't know what to do. Shall I save you? Don't poop in my house. Okay, just a second. They went with their dad to Tucro, and I don't even know what to do with myself. I feel lost. Like, I could probably count on one hand how many nights I've been away from them. Seriously. I want, I don't know, you know, I love my kids. Like, I'm sure we all do. Like, everyone loves their own kids. But I like, I like to be with them, and it makes me sad, like, to watch them drive away <laughs> and, like, cry. It was just me and the dogs and the guineas over here chirping away and making noise. <laughs> it's kind of just a weird day for me. I don't even know what to do. But I still gotta do all my chores and get everything milked and fed and all of that. I gotta check on my buck Corin and see how he's doing. And so, except for the kids not interrupting every second, <laughs> it's kind of a normal day. I wonder what they're doing. I bet they're having a blast. They were so excited to go. They're shipping cows. I think he said there'd probably be between three and 400 that they're shipping today. So they're gonna have a blast today and probably be so tired tonight. <laughs> what do you do when your kids are gone? Like, what are you supposed to do? I don't even know. <laughs> you? I'll see if you watch. These are getting so big. How's that? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get a covering for you guys already. Yeah, goofy birds. Why are you so wild? We got these guineas from a neighbor. They called and said, we just can't do this right now. Will you take them? And I'm a sucker and I took them. <laughs> So we got them like within the first 24 hours and I was bound and determined to make them friendly. I think it's absolutely impossible to make guineas friendly. Like really, we've handled them and talked to them and pet them and held them and they still are not friendly. <laughs> like, uh, it'd be fun to have friendly guineas. Did you guys hear me coming? Did you hear me coming? What are you doing? Look ya! Did you hear me coming? Yeah? What do you think? There they come! Hi guys! Guess what? You smell the banana, don't you, Kira? Yes, I had a banana for breakfast. Whoa! <laughs> Olivia got it. Here you go, Kira. Yum. What about Olivia? Miss Olivia, get it, Olivia. Oh, she got it. Phew. Yeah, we gotta get face like those, huh? Yeah. There's that goofy mama chicken. You goofy chicken. I sit here in this barn when I'm milking because I'm in there a lot. <laughs> Twice a day. For, I mean, it's not like a huge amount of time, but it probably takes me to milk. And by the time they're done with their grain, it probably takes me half an hour, I would guess. And I just have a lot of time to think and look around and I just think about all I want to do in, in our barn and on our property and it's hard to be patient and to wait 
because there's just so much of life, you know, that needs to get done. Like you, you can't skip some things. You have to do the dishes. You got to feed the kids and the family. You got to do chores. And so sometimes it, and then homeschool. And so sometimes it doesn't like leave a lot of time to work on the extra stuff. So I guess it's like my dream. This milking is my dreaming time when I'm milking. Just working on an email to somebody that asked me a goat question. Good time to do it when I'm with the goats, right? Send. We decided to keep Giraffe. Josiah named her Giraffe. Don't ask me why. Giraffe is still getting some milk. Um, she can and could be weaned, but we've kept them together and and Faith will naturally wean. So, so I'll, I milk Faith um, and Giraffe gets what she can. I don't know, I really think that raising babies of all kinds, humans, all animals, it, on their mama's milk is so important and for as long as possible. I mean, it's good for them. It's what they need and keeps them strong and healthy. So I haven't separated them. They get enough milk already and so she can get the milk if she wants it and then we get the rest. So it's worked out good. We've just kept them together. Chick, 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 chick. I'm trying to train them to come. Tick, 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 tick. So mama's coming. Here comes mama. She's like, oh, she jumped down and she's gonna call her baby. Tick, 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 tick. I like to train my chickens so they come when I call. So I've been working with these guys. When I give them water too, I call for them so they know there's good things coming. Is there any food in there? You're gonna close it? You're gonna close it yourself? Yeah. Show me how you close it. There you go. You know, what am I waiting for? Here you go. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Bill is going to be back home officially at the end of October. So we're going to go pick up a new bus. That'll be exciting. And then we'll get these mamas all pregnant and waiting for babies in the spring. That's always such a fun and exciting time. Kind of stressful too. I don't know. But it's fun. It's something to look forward to because spring means we've survived winter and there's going to be warm weather. Give the baby Cheeky some, some Cheeky food. See if they come. to do with myself. I don't have kids. Usually right now I'm wondering what they're doing if they're not in here with me. I'm thinking, what have they gotten into? What are they doing? <laughs> like the other day in the grain. Planting the grain. Oh, you never know. Digging a swimming pool. The life of a farm kid. So your turn, Kira. Is it your turn? Just waiting patiently for your turn. Here was the first goat I ever milked. That seems like a long time ago. <laughs> Learned a lot since then. She's our only Nubian. The other ones are mini Nubians. And so 
mini Nubian is a cross between a Nubian and a Nigerian dwarf. And actually, I the buck I'm going to be getting is a Nigerian dwarf. I'm going to go for a smaller, like Corin. He's a big buck. And these guys are smaller. Even though he's a mini Nubian, he's still pretty big. So I'm going for smaller buck so that the smaller babies and less potential for this the but the problems that can come when animals are bred to a larger uh, male you know, even cows can when cows are bred to larger bulls they can, that can cause problems you know the first calf heifers can really struggle and you don't want that for your your animals so I'm going for I'm going to just bring home a smaller buck and we'll see how that goes. So I'm excited. I have about nine people that get milk from me, which is pretty cool because Goat milk is so good for you and I think these people realize it but I think some of them also they do get it to make some some soaps and things like that but you do have to be so careful and watch your laws and thankfully Montana laws have been changing in this last year or so um, so but check your laws to make sure that that's possible but it's nice that it's I mean this is a lot of milk so I milk four goats a day uh, and it's just nice that this milk is going someplace. It's not, I mean, we use it and love it, but then there's so much extra that it can go to other people and we love that. And if there is extra like at night, if I'm not needing the milk, and there's not really too much at night, um, if I do have extra, I do give it to the cows. So they, they get their treats and that's nice and we love it. <laughs> The cool thing is, is that I have it set up where I have a, a little fridge out by our garage. And so I have the people like choose a day that they want it and how much they want. Some of them just get half a gallon once a week or even someone gets a gallon every other week. So we just have a schedule that we set and we, I think I'll probably put it in our phones to remind us. And so I know who gets milk on what day and then I go put it out in that fridge and then they can pick it up at their convenience. Um, so we're not like having to wait around, you know, the life gets busy and crazy and I've gotten texts like, oh, I forgot to come and get the milk. Is it okay? Is it still out there? And like, yeah, it's fine. Go and get it. And so I don't have to wait around for them to come. They don't have to wait for me. And so they can just, it's out there. They come and get it. They have, there's a little jar that I put in there that they can put their money in. And so it's just really convenient and easy. One gallon. Yay! I have been wondering what the kids are doing all day and wondering what excitement they've been up to all day. And I just got this video. They are on their way home now, and this is what we have. A sleepy girl. We definitely do nap still, and so she is probably just exhausted. But what a fun day for them. So you loaded cows. And we got in the hole. You got in a hole? Uh huh. But not the other hole because there was water in it. Yeah, uh. so was there a skid steer, Dad said? Yeah. Did you drive it? No, not all by myself, Dad. 
drive there. I was kind of tight. Did you work with cows? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you rope a cow? Nope. Not yet. Not yet? Nope. My pillow bears my pillow is super fluffy, Ben. Come here and I'll hold you and give you hugs and kisses. Okay. Okay. Hug and kisses, buddy. Huh? What are you whining about?